there's a new way to shop this month at one local boutique. This morning, Ansley Watson is in Nagani telling us more about it. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. Beginning this Sunday begins a new monthly trend called the Second Sunday Pop-Up Shop. So basically, it's a new way to go shopping. Come here. Many different vendors tend to be exact under one roof. So it's basically like coming to a little mini mall. But it's here at Panache beginning, like I said, this Sunday between 1 and 4. Come with your girlfriends. Bring your kids. Come shopping. It's going to be a good time. We'll have more details later in the hour. Stay with us. Reporting live in Nagani, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. Sounds like a great opportunity. Thank you very much, Ansley. As we get ready for the day, uh, well, it's a little bit wet out. A new way to shop is popping up this weekend. This Sunday, it's the first monthly event where local boutiques and businesses are gathering under one roof. Ansley Watson is in Nagani telling us more about it. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. This right here is pretty much the motto I'd say of these pop-up shops. Friends don't let friends shop at chain stores. It's fun. <laughs> anyway, joining me this morning is the owner of Panache, Janice Chittle. Good morning. Good morning. So let's just straighten out the rumors right here. Panache, not closing. Not closing. It's just different. <laughs> yes. What's going on? Yes, so we purchased the building, so we're able to do in here um, and we're just kind of changing how we do the boutique and how um, and opening the space up for mm -hmm. rentals and different things like that um, so our first idea was to do these pop-up shops every second Sunday um, of the month and that's an event we'll be hosting where our boutique will be in it as well um, just a condensed version of okay. it um, and then we are inviting other locally owned businesses to participate with us as well so who else would be here so for this one we have Chabella boutique from Marquette. We have Watson Watson Jewelers, um, Forsberg and New Leaf will be here, Hannah's Tea Times. Um, we have so many other ones I'm talking to because people can sign up for different okay. months. So for oh. different months too, we have places like Vera de Vera Vintage. Um, we'll have um, the Pink Sugar Company from Escanaba. So just a bunch of different, and if anybody else is interested in joining, this is something we would be doing every month. And we just want to make it fun, an easy way to shop local, all under one roof. You're not driving to each separate store. Yeah. And it's a fun way for businesses to maybe promote something new they're doing, mm -hmm. a new product or something like that as well. So it's kind of like a little mini mall. Come over here mall. and get all the different shops that exactly. you usually go to. Exactly. And yeah. have some coffee in the house and just enjoy yourself. So there's going to be <laughs> treats here as well. Treats. Uh, Big V Coffee, so, um, which I'm excited about because they have their creme brulee, which I love, <laughs> and, which will be here. And then um, we're trying to keep it fun. We'll have coloring books and activities for the kids and stuff to do while mom or dad shops. And... Just keep it a fun, low-key, local event. So. so each month it will be here. It'll be in the same location. Right, yep. Downtown Nagani in our location where the boutique was before. Still the same spot, 320 Iron Street. <laughs> um, and it's right across from Midtown Bakery. It'll be here every month. So. Very neat, very neat. So anybody can come, come get some shops. It's probably a little bit more personable to, to come do this. Right, right. You get to, you know, the shop owner and employees will be here you see if you have any questions you can talk to them about it and then it's just a fun way like I said them to unveil new products to mm -hmm. interact with their clientele see what they want see what maybe and then it also a lot of the shops too might be Marquette it, it delivers a West End audience for them as well so wonderful well mm -hmm. later in the hour we'll talk about kind of what people can see from your little boutique here your little stay with us Thank reporting you. live in Nagani Ansley Watson TV6 News much Ansley and getting ready for the day. Uh, is it going to be rainy on Sunday? Will this be a good idea to maybe find? A Welcome back. Of course, for many going shopping is already a blast, but when you bring several boutiques and businesses under one roof, it couldn't get any better. Ansley Watson is at Panache in Nagani this morning, telling us more about this new way of shopping. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Sam. Sam, you should come out. I think that you would have a great time shopping around. I know how oh, much you absolutely. really love shopping. Joining me this morning is Janice Chittle, and she is the owner here of Panache. Good morning. Good morning. So what are these pop-up shops? So it's just, it's a group of brick and mortar stores that are locally owned that um, are all coming together under one roof to make a unique shopping experience and um, maybe bring in a new audience to them being in the west end of the county. So, so you decided yep. to do this. You decided to host it here in Panache. Yep. Why? Well, we recently purchased the building, so we were able to kind of do some different things, and we wanted to open the space up for, mm -hmm. um, not only for anybody to rent the space if they needed it for different things, but um, we wanted to host an event ourselves, too. So I was brainstorming different ideas on what to do for us to ho host a monthly event, and I thought, 
why not bring together all the group of awesome people I've gotten to know over the years that own different businesses under one roof and create the pop-up shops that are, you know, they're so popular around the country anyway, so let's do it here. Brilliant in idea. Why, why not? not? <laughs> so it's coming this yeah. Sunday. It's, it's yep. called Second Sunday, so everybody yep. knows every Always month, the Second Sunday. Sunday. Yep. And then the time? One to four. So it'll be okay. one to four every second Sunday. We'll have different shops every time. Um, always be adding to it as it grows and people get more interested. Um, we've got shops coming from as far as ways Escanaba, Munising, Marquette, Ishbeming. So just a good group of people from So I guess this is around. kind of a shout out to other local businesses too if right. they want to get involved to contact right. you. Absolutely. We, we um, are looking for more vendors still and, and things change all the time. You know, we do have a somewhat limited space you know we're not gonna have 50 people yeah. in groups in here or anything but um, it's changing all the time we want to keep it fresh and new and include other people too so and keep a variety of different types of businesses mm -hmm. in here as well absolutely yeah. well let's preview some of what you will be here panache yes. boutique some of your stuff what can we yeah. look forward to so for panache boutique we just condensed what we had before and kind of kept the stuff that I absolutely loved which would be more of the handmade baby items mm -hmm. boutique kind of baby items that um, also support local businesses or supporting women who work out of their homes and different things. Um, and then as well as our fashion items, clothing, jewelry, hair accessories, and that sort of thing. So. And what other businesses, a little preview, mm -hmm. are going to be here? Um, we're going to have for this one Chubella Boutique, Dusty Luck, um, Forsberg and New Leaf will be here, Watson and Watson Jewelers. Um, oh goodness, trying to remember the ones That'll be at this one mm -hmm. versus the next mm -hmm. ones. Um, different times we'll have um, Vere de Vere Vintage, uh, the Pink Sugar Company of Escanaba. Um, this time we'll have Rehome, okay. Hannah's Tea Times. So it's just going to be a really fun group of people. It sounds fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And I hope it's, a lot of people turn out for it. I hope so. I think so. Again, every second Sunday each month. Every second Sunday each month. Put it on your calendars. <laughs> mark it down. I'm get going. out of the house. <laughs> yeah. Great. Well, Janice, thank you so much <laughs> for being with us this morning. Reporting live in Nagani Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 morning news after the break.